Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how you can get your unsupported Mac onto Monterey. I will be demonstrating this on a 2012 Mac Mini, and uh, keep in mind if you do do this on any uh, 2011 or older machine, there will be some graphical glitches, but nothing that really like makes it unusable, just some weird graphics stuff. But uh, let's get into it. So uh, the things that you will need for this is a obviously a unsupported Mac, and a uh, at least maybe a 16 gigabyte USB drive, 32 gigabytes to be safe because the Mac OS installers can be pretty big. But um, yeah, so uh, the first thing you want to do is install a copy of Mac OS Monterey, which uh, I will be putting all this junk in the description so you can copy and paste. But if you are running El Capitan or older, you need to copy and paste this one into terminal. If you're running Sierra or newer, you copy and paste this into terminal. So to get the terminal, you go to Launchpad, Other, and then Terminal. I'm actually demonstrating this on Monterey. I'm just it's basically just going to be doing a reinstall, but it'll work just the same. So you'll want to copy that command into terminal. Click Enter. And you can see that it is downloading, it's going to download a list of the installers, the different macOS installers you can get. So let's let this run. Should not take long. So as you can see, we have a huge list here. And let me find uh, Monterey. Right here, you so uh, it depends. It may be different whenever you watch this video, but for me, Monterey is number five on the list, and that's 12.0.1. So you'll want to type in five, and then it'll start downloading. Now I already have this installer downloaded, so I'm not gonna download it at the moment because I it take forever. But uh, once that is done, it should be in your Applications folder, I believe. If it puts it on your desktop or something, move it to your Applications folder, because that's where it will need to be for when we make the bootable USB. So the next thing you want to do is insert your USB drive, and then go to, uh, don't mean that, open Apple TV, uh, insert your, your USB drive and open Disk Utility. And then the next thing you want to do is find your USB drive and disk utility and erase it and name it My Volume. I'm not going to erase this because I already have the installer made up, but I will pretend. So you'll erase it and then when it asks you for your what name you want it as, type in My Volume. So that way uh, the commands will work good. It'll find the right USB drive. Um, so uh, the next thing you want to do is take this this command right here and copy it and open terminal again and do command V and click enter and then click put in your password so it's gonna say that it couldn't find the uh, installer app for me but assuming you moved it to the applications folder on your machine it should find it and then it'll ask you if you want to erase your USB drive and then it will make the installer so uh, the next thing once that is done you can close out of terminal and then you can go to the, uh, you can download OpenCore. So I will also have this link down in the description. I'm just going to click on it now. It is a, a little patcher that tricks macOS into thinking that you're running a newer Mac. Um, whatever the newest version is, when you watch this video, install it. So I will be installing 0.3.1. You can do either the GUI or the TUI. The TUI is terminal. And the GUI is like a, it has like an interface and stuff. So it's really doesn't matter whatever you want to do. I'm going to do a, a GUI. So download that, and then that will take a moment to download. And uh, I will be back whenever it's done downloading. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is open your Finder and go to your Applications. And then click on your downloads thing down here and drag Open Core Patcher to it. Now I already have an Open Core Patcher here, here, so I'm going to replace. And the next thing you want to do is find Open Core Patcher and open it. And then it'll ask you if you want to open it, which of course you do. So click open. And the next thing you want to do is click Build and Install Open Core. 
and you need to make sure that you choose your internal hard drive which for me is a 256 gigabyte Samsung SSD and then you click continue and then it will ask you for your password and then it's just gonna be it's gonna start doing a bunch of like terminal stuff um, making the uh, open core patcher work and it's gonna put it on your or er, what's it EFI folder or uh, EFI partition on your hard drive and now you can see it's done so uh, the next thing you want to do is um, close out of open core patcher and shut down your Mac because now we're gonna start the installation so we'll just give this a moment to shut down hopefully it should shut down any second now I hope I hope it doesn't take a billion years there it goes it's shut down so the next thing you want to do is hold down option on your keyboard and power on your Mac and then it will take a second for your screen to show up with the boot picker and it's turning on now although you can't see it on your screen uh, the next thing you want to do is click on EFI boot with the open core symbol and then go to uh, my volume which it actually should be called install macOS Monterey now so click enter on my volume and then it will boot into the macOS Monterey USB so uh, I'll be back whenever this gets done loading okay so now that it's done booting into the USB you're going to want to click on install macOS Monterey and continue and this will take a moment so then you click continue come on computer and this may be a little slow depending on your hardware I'm guessing that's why it's taking a bit on my computer because it is almost 10 years old so it will take a moment come on Mac mini there we go and then you need to agree to the software license agreement and then you choose your internal hard drive so mine is Macintosh SSD or HD and uh, it's a 256 gigabyte SSD so then I'm going to click continue and then it's just going to go go ahead and go through and install Mac OS Monterey so I'm going to let this go and I'll see you guys whenever it's finished or whenever it reboots because we actually have to do some uh, weird stuff well not weird but I'll you'll see in a moment okay so the next thing you want to do is whenever it restarts uh, you're gonna need to click on make sure you click on Mac OS installer the one that says Mac OS installer and every time it reboots that picker should show up and um, whenever uh, you just keep clicking Mac OS installer until it doesn't show up anymore and then you can boot into your main system volume whatever that is called um, so uh, I will let this ooh the mouse is there that's kinda weird but uh, yeah I'll let this install and I will report if anything if I need to say anything there we go it says about 29 minutes remaining so I believe uh, once this this will restart one more time and you'll need to click it click on Mac OS installer one more time and then it should be done uh, we'll see I'll start recording again when it restarts and we'll just see what happens okay so you'll notice that it rebooted and you want to click on macOS installer one more time and uh, then let it run through its stuff okay so now that you're on the uh, boot picker again you'll see that the uh, Mac OS installer partition thingy is gone so you can just boot right up to your normal hard drive which uh, should only take a moment so I'll let this load and I'll see you in a sec 
Okay, so I think it reboot. Yeah, it rebooted, and it'll. Uh, you'll need to click uh, your main hard drive again. Um, I don't know why it reboots when you're. I don't know why it does that, but it's nothing to worry about if it does do that to you, because it did it to me when I installed Monterey uh, when it came out on this thing, and it did it this time, <laughs> whenever I did it. So. Uh, nothing to worry about, and if it does, if it does take a little bit longer than, a little bit longer than usual to boot, you know, it's, uh, it'll probably only do that once, take a while to boot, after that it should boot up relatively, yeah, you can see now it's already almost done, but, uh, you know, just don't be a freak out if it does, uh, mess up on you. Now for, uh, certain Macs, you will need to install, uh, graphics patches, or some other just patches in general. I know for the uh, 2012 Max, you will need to install the graphics uh, patches because they took the uh, the Intel graphics that these 2012 Max use. They took the drivers out in uh, Mo Monterey, so you have to repatch them in to get them to work. And anything older than that, I know will need patches. So the next thing you want to do is go to your launch pad and click on open core patcher and then click a patch system volume and you'll need to type in your passcode password and uh... this will take a moment um, i don't exactly remember how long it took for me but uh... give it some time and i'll be back whenever it's finished Okay, for some reason the GUI version of the patcher isn't wanting to like patch the kex right, so I think I do have uh, I do have the terminal version here. Um, if the patching the kex doesn't work on the GUI version for you, you can actually do this on the machine you got on Monterey already. Just open up Safari. It will be a little slow if you don't have graphics acceleration, but. Uh, Open Safari, go to the open core, and download the terminal version. I don't know why it's not working for me, but uh, we'll just try the terminal version instead. For some reason, it's not it's not wanting to work. I don't get why, but it's a whole weird deal. So uh, I'll let this verify, and we'll patch it this way. So uh, now I'm just going to do the post install, which is 3... And it's going to tell you what packs, packs, kex that it's going to be installing here. So I'm going to be doing uh, one patch system volume. Click yes. And as I said, this will take a moment to patch. Um, hopefully, <laughs> it actually uh, works, but we will see. We'll just let this run and see what happens. Uh, I believe as it installs patches, it'll ask you to say yes or no to installing them. So click Y and enter on all of them, because all you will need all of them. <laughs> so uh, I will let this run. Okay, so now that's done, it says you must reboot to. Uh, make the patches actually work so after that you can quit and terminate and now you can just reboot and uh... let's let it reboot so uh... after this everything on your machine should work just as if it were a supported mac unless if you don't have a metal gpu in yours then uh... again there will be some graphical glitches but it should work good other than that so let's let this reboot. And I will show you how to fix this to where it automatically boots into macOS once it is actually done. Uh, yeah, you can turn off that picker to where it just automatically does it. You don't need to mess with the picker at all. So let's let this reboot. Okay, so now it's booted. The next thing you want to do is type in your passcode. And now you can see everything is working just as if it were a supported Mac. Graphics acceleration is working, as you can see. And um, uh, all the transparency effects are working. 
So now for making that boot picker go away. So you want to open Open Core Legacy Patcher. And you will want to go to 5. You will want to type in 5 patcher settings. And then you will want to go to Miscellaneous, which is also number 5. And the next thing you want to do is type in number 1, which is Set Show Picker. So type in 1, and then type in No. And click Q, and Q again. And then you need to build Open Core once again. So type in 1, click Enter, and then click Install. And then you, you put, it should be, your main disk should be 0. So uh, make sure it is before you install to the wrong disk. So I'm going to type in 0, and then you click 1. And then you need to type in your passcode. And now it's done, and then that's it. Once you reboot again, you will see that it will just automatically boot straight into Mac OS, just like it, as if it were a supported machine. Um, I guess that's it. If you guys run into any problems, please let me know in the comments, and I will try to help you as best I can. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.